Hi everyone and welcome to RevMax.com. In this video tutorial I want to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to install our self-hosted tracker on a web hosting server that uses cPanel. cPanel is the most popular control panel out there for most VPSs and dedicated servers. Um, and if you're just getting started, it's most likely that you are using that. If you're using another control panel, then it, it, it's pretty much the same type of steps. Um, it's all about just uploading the files, creating the database, and then connecting it all together. So I'll show you how to do this. This won't take any longer than five or 10 minutes, so just bear with me. And, um, then we'll just take it from there. Now, if you do not want to do this and you want to have our team professionally install it for you, we would be more than happy. Just order that along with your purchase or you can order it inside of um, our interface here by clicking order new services. Um, as soon as you do that, we automatically will begin a ticket, a support ticket, and um, we'll get the required information that we need from you so we can do that for you. And we normally turn those around within 24 business hours at the latest. Okay, so right now I'm inside of my main dashboard. Once I've purchased my license, I'm going to click on services. I'm going to see my domain license, so I'm going to click on it. Um, I'm going to click download to download the software. Now, I've already done this, so um, I don't have to do it again, but you want to go ahead and download it to your desktop. Now, um, it's automatically going to pick up the domain that you install it on, so you don't have to worry about entering your domain anywhere. It's going to be automated. So um, let's just go into the, the installation process now. So next, I want to go to the cPanel for the domain or subdomain that I'm installing it on. So for this example, I'm going to be installing on tutorial.revmax.com. So it's going to be a subdomain. Okay, so I need to go to, first off, I need to go to my file manager and upload the files. So right here, as soon as I click in file manager, you're going to see my document tree. And this is where essentially my website or my files to my website live. So I want to upload my RevMax folder right up in here, or my RevMax um, installation right here in the main folder. So I'm going to click upload. I'm going to grab that zip file and upload the whole thing here. Now, depending on your connection speed, it may take a little bit, may take a little bit longer. It's a 36 megabyte file, so it's not like it's anything tremendously big, but you can see it's just going to take us a couple seconds here to get it uploaded. Once we do that, we're going to go back to the main folder. And we'll scroll down and you can see RevMax is right here. So we're now going to extract it. We want to extract it just right where it is. So we're just going to click Extract Files. Okay, they're extracted, closed. Now, a good system administrator deletes that zip file because there's no need to keep it on the server and, and, and keep the, using space up. So we're going to delete that. Um, and now everything is inside of the folder RevMax. So I'm going to click inside of here. Now, we have this folder called public. We need to take all these files and put it in our public HTML or wherever the public files live. So what I'm going to do is click in here and I'm going to hold down shift and move these into my public HTML. Now for security, I'm keeping all the source files of the application outside of my public facing directory. This keeps evildoers and everyone else away from your files, keeps everything safe and secure. We designed the application for that in mind. So now I'm going to click on move and I want to move these into my public HTML folder. So I'm just going to change this to public underscore HTML, click move files, and now that has been moved. So now I can go um, back here to my home, and if I click in public HTML, you'll see I've got an HT access, an index, and an admin directory. Now, it's important to edit each one of these and make sure that I have the full source or the full um, path um, to my source. So I like to look up here and just use this here as a guide. Um, remember, I did not put these in the public HTML. So these are just in slash home slash tutorial. And that's where this file lives. So I'm going to click save changes on that. Click close. I want to go into admin and do the same thing. And once again, I'm going to use this as my guide. Um, because these were uploaded right above the public HTML. So I'm going to add those, delete that trailing slash, and click Save. Okay, and we need to do that to make sure that um, we know how to, uh, the, the application knows where the files live and how to access it since we didn't put everything in the public HTML directory. Okay, we're going to click back on Home, and now we need to go back into RevMax, and we need to enter our configuration stuff from the database. So you can see in the config file, there's database.any and license.any. So let's go to the database first and click on edit. Click on edit. Okay, so we now need to create our database and enter the information in this file. So I'll go back to my cPanel and I'm going to go to MySQL. Now even if you're using Maria database or a different database, cPanel calls it MySQL. So we're going to just um, leave it at that. Um, we're going to name this database RevMax, create the database. We're going to copy this, go back over to our um, database file. 
Um, we're going to enter that in here. Now we need to create the user. So go back and I'm just going to call the user RevMax. And I want to grab a password, so I'll use this secure generator. I like using that, so I know it's secure. I'm going to go back to my database file, edit my password, my username's the same, click save. Now I've got to go back here to my databases, and I have to assign the user privileges to the database. So add user to the database, all privileges, and make the changes. So now the user's been assigned to the database, and we're almost all set. The last thing we need to do is put our license file in there. So see, we'll see license.any. We're going to click edit, click edit again, and we have to grab our license key. So we'll go over here, and you can see this is automatically generated in your interface. So copy that, go over here and paste it, click save, and now we're off to the races. So I've got a separate browser window, window here, and I'll bring it on over. Um, and all I do is I go to my subdomain and I'm going to go to slash admin slash install. And that's where I'm going to run this install script. So wherever you decide to install it, slash admin slash install. Now when I go there, I'm going to see um, it, it, this is an install check. And it's going to make sure everything's ready to go. If I'm missing any extensions or have a, a version of PHP that's not supported, I'm going to get an X. And then at that point, I would need to ask my web host to fix it for me. Um, but we're all set here. Most web hosts have everything set up that you're going to need by default. Okay, so now we just need to enter our information. Um, I'm going to enter my name, Ryan Gray, um, RevMax, um, Ryan at RevMax.com. Uh, enter a password. We're just going to call it RevMax123. Um, Again, you want to use a secure password. You can use the um, generate password feature. Since I'm going to do it, this is a demonstration, I'm going to keep it simple. Next, you select your time zone. I'm in Central, so I'll just start typing in. Well, let's see here. Just type in Mexico City. Install. And it just takes a second. It has completed. So I'll just copy my username and password. Click to log in. RevMax, RevMax123, and now I've completed the installation. I'm ready to start setting up campaigns. So it really is that simple. It's just taking the files, extracting them, uh, making sure the paths are created, and um, fixing the database stuff, and you're ready to go. There's, no, there's nothing else you have to do. Now, if you look at our installation guide, we have some extra security things that you can do. Now, I'm not going to go through each one of these on this tutorial. Um, but it's definitely recommended that you go through and um, add some um, your application encryption key and your admin password key. Those are important just to make sure your installation is locked down. Remember, as affiliate and performance marketers, the money is in the data, literally. So it's important that we do keep our installation secure and safe. So that's um, make sure you go through those steps. Now, if you're using Nginx or other web servers, um, we've got some uh, more information for you in there. And we have this nice little tutorial that Bill has made for us um, that shows you everything I just went through in a step-by-step -step orderly fashion as well. So make sure you check that out if you have any questions. But that's really as quick and easy as it is. Um, if you have any issues, let us know. And if, of course, if you want us to do it for you, then you can order that service. We will do that um, for you within 24 business hours. But thanks a bunch for choosing RevMax. It's our pleasure to serve you and happy tracking using RevMax.com.